In 1938, a partial skull was discovered in Ohio. It had many parts of the jaw and face missing. However, an identifying feature of the skull that had survived time were its huge incisors, measuring around 15 centimeters in length, proportionately massive even for the large size of the skull. The only group of animals that have teeth like this are rodents, but the skull was closer in size to an animal the size of a bear. And this is because during the Ice Age, North America's lakes and rivers were home to a huge semi-aquatic mammal, a giant beaver called Castoroides. Castoroides was significantly larger than modern beavers. It could grow to around 2 meters long and would have weighed about 100 to possibly as much as 120 kilos. This would make them larger than an average man and maybe even comparable in size to a black bear, putting them among the largest rodents that have ever lived. Castoroides were beavers and looked very similar to modern beavers, but they had subtle differences in appearance other than just being much bigger. Their forelimbs were shorter than their hind limbs, suggesting they stood up on their back legs more often than modern beavers do, and the bones in their tail indicate that it probably would have been slightly flattened, but nowhere near to the extent of modern beavers. They were definitely aquatic creatures, but the combination of longer legs and a slightly less specialized tail suggests that Castoroides may have moved through the water with a combination of wading and swimming, whereas beavers tend to just swim. Castoroides would have moved its huge mass through the cold meltwaters and waterways that covered much of Ice Age North America, living from around 2 to 3 million years ago. The earliest remains were discovered in Ohio, but later, many of their bones were found in other areas surrounding the Great Lakes, including parts of Canada, suggesting they had a large population living in and around these lakes. However, giant beaver bones are known from all over North America, including Florida, but also in the far northern regions of Alaska and Canada, that would have been even colder when the giant beavers were still alive. They shared the North American wilderness with famous prehistoric creatures like mammoths and cave bears but also many animals that are still alive today, like bison and wolves, but also Castoroides would have shared the wetlands and waterways with modern beavers, as modern beavers did not evolve from these giants and they were just closely related and lived at the same time, sometimes in the same habitats. So why did these beavers grow so large? Beavers as a group of mammals are pretty old. The beaver family is known as Castoridae, and its oldest member was called Agnotocaster that dated all the way back to about 35 to 40 million years ago in the late Eocene epoch, whereas most of the modern mammal families wouldn't take shape until 10 to 20 million years later. And there is evidence that they were already aquatic by around 30 million years ago, as there was a small castorid about the size of a rabbit known as Stenia fiber. Beavers waterproofed themselves by rubbing an oil called castor oil over their fur using a specialized toenail, called a grooming claw, and Stenio fiber had the same claw, suggesting that it needed it for waterproofing. However, they almost certainly weren't as aquatic as modern beavers as there is evidence that they lived in burrows. Eventually, modern beavers would evolve, around 5 to 10 million years ago, the North American beavers and the Eurasian beavers being the only two species still alive from the family. So modern beavers actually predate Castoroides but also this shows that the beaver family spent most of their time as small-sized animals, and then in a relatively small amount of time, some species adapted to become giant. And this didn't just happen with Castoroides, as there was another giant beaver called Trigonotherium that was known from Europe. Both giant beavers evolved around the same time, but were not closely related. The gigantism may not have been down to anything specific to them being beavers, and there may have just been a niche available for them to fill. There was another giant beaver in Europe, but there are also other giant rodents known from around the same time in South America. One of them was called Joseph Oatagasia that lived in Uruguay and may have been able to grow up to a ton, making them around the same size as a bison. And like Castoroides, they too had huge rodent teeth scaled up to their body size. Provided there are no other barriers, small animals will tend to getting larger because there is an optimum size for retaining heat. At the end of the last ice age, all of the very large mammals in the northern hemisphere went extinct. But in other parts of the world closer to the equator, where the megafauna survived, there are also large semi-aquatic herbivores, like a hippo or a water buffalo, 
so it may just have been that the conditions were right for an animal in the north to evolve and fill a similar niche. However, although beavers are semi-aquatic herbivores, being scaled up in size wouldn't make them anything like a hippo or a water buffalo, because they arguably have the most unique lifestyle of any non-human animal, as their ability to build dams has a huge impact on the environment around them. And it was very unlikely that Castoroides had this same ability. In the past, it was thought that they may have been able to build colossal lodges to fit their large sizes. There was another prehistoric beaver named Epoides that probably did build dams, and despite being smaller than even modern beavers, they were actually more closely related to Castoroides. On top of this, wooden structures have been discovered near remains of Castoroides that some have interpreted as giant beaver lodges. However, there is little proof that they were put there intentionally, and they could have just been deposited from flooding. But the bigger problem is that there is no evidence that giant beavers dined on wood, like living beavers do, which would almost certainly be a precursor to eventually using the wood as building materials. Their teeth may have been massive, but they were the wrong shape for chiseling through wood. Castoroides' teeth taper to a blunt point, whereas modern beavers have wide, flat, but sharp teeth. The teeth of Castoroides look more like the teeth of a muskrat. Muskrats only eat aquatic vegetation, don't eat tree branches or bark, and don't build dams, so don't need a specialised teeth. Finally, their teeth were scientifically examined, and it was found that the chemical composition more closely resembles the teeth of animals that eat aquatic plants exclusively, and not modern beavers, and so almost certainly didn't build the same giant wooden structures. Castoroides' skull show that their brain was proportionately smaller than modern beavers, and so they were likely less intelligent. Beaver dams are highly variable in shape and size to suit the specific environment where they are built, and so the higher intelligence in modern beavers may be necessary for their ability to dam streams. So Castoroides were beavers, and looked very similar to modern beavers, but were most likely behaviorally very different animals. Castoroides' role in its environment may have been more akin to an animal like a hippo. The primary reason beavers build wooden structures, and most likely the reason the behaviour evolved, is for defence. Beavers dam streams in order to create bodies of slow-moving deep water that they can then use to hide the entrance to their lodges underneath the waterline. Beavers have many predators, and are fairly slow-moving on land, and the smaller you are, your potential predator list grows so it's possible that Castoroides may have just had less reason to build dams and lodges. Although, they weren't completely free from danger. In North America during the Ice Age, jaguars could be found over a thousand miles north of their current range, including around the Great Lakes. There was even a species of giant jaguar that was 15-20% to 20 larger than modern jaguars that lived during the Ice Age as well. There is no direct evidence of a predator-prey relationship, but jaguars specialise in hunting large aquatic prey, like capybaras and caiman, and so may have hunted castoroides. Castoroides may have also been under threat from humans, as their bones have been found in the same ecosystems, although there is no conclusive proof that they were hunted by humans. Castoroides went extinct around 10 to 12,000 years ago, which was at the same time as many of the famous Ice Age megafauna went extinct, like mastodons and mammoths. Towards the end of the last ice age, North America trended to getting drier, so it is possible that Castoroides saw a large reduction in its wetland habitats that it heavily relied on. As modern beavers are able to create their own wetlands, and possibly just because they are smaller they required less food, and so are more likely to survive. Rodents are the most successful group of mammals, making up around half of all mammalian species. They owe this success to being very intelligent, having opportunistic diets, but also their small size, as it allows them to reproduce incredibly quickly. But in the not too distant past, they proved that if the conditions in their ecosystem are right, they can join the ranks of large animals as well. Thank you for watching. A big thank you goes to all my patrons, especially the big contributors that are listed here. If you like content like this, then consider becoming a patron as well.